Hi, Leo. All right. This is your May 2019 reading. It is general. So, messages may or may not apply to you. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, very similar. Kind of similar to Cancer. Cancer got Six of Swords and Four of Pentacles as well. Um, yeah, but you guys got, all right, the first card's out, Six of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So there's some sorts of heavy energy here with the Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Sadness, Grief, um, the feeling of loss. Betrayal, maybe. Then you have these Six of Swords, so... You guys could be moving on. You guys could be moving away from a heartbreak. Or, you know, just away from a sad situation. You're moving on away from this Three of Swords energy. Towards the Four of Pentacles and Seven of Cups. Um... Now, Four of Pentacles is usually a card of um, holding on, you know, just not wanting to let go. Um, can also be a selfish energy, a, a greedy energy. So whether you were dealing with someone in that type of energy or um, maybe you were finding it hard to let go of something, someone. But in this deck... Um, this mermaid here is very just in the moment. Um, she's very meditative. Um, she's not really worried about anything. She's not overthinking. She's just very aware of the present moment. Um, she seems pretty calm, pretty grounded, pretty relaxed. So I see you guys moving into that type of energy in the month of May. Um, and the Seven of Cups... You guys could be maybe just fantasizing, maybe daydreaming. Um, it can also be a card of illusion. So uh, maybe you were dealing with some sort of illusion. Maybe you or someone you were dealing with, maybe they had a lot of options to choose from. And it doesn't have to be like, other people it could be um, maybe they just had a lot of options um, when it came to their life in general um, or you guys could be being faced maybe with a lot of options in May um, a lot of different directions you could go in I don't know. Let's see what else comes out. Okay. The High Priestess. Two of Cups. <clears throat> Justice at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Someone's someone's using their intuition here. Could be you. Um when it comes to moving on, when it comes to this two of cups energy here, someone you could be getting some sort of offer. 
this month. Oh, so, so maybe someone here moves on or moves away from some situation that was no, you know, that just wasn't serving you, that was causing you grief, that was causing you heartache. Um, moving into a more grounded, balanced energy. So for some of you guys, I'm seeing when you are moving on and you're in this energy here of just really being in the moment, living in the moment, not being caught up in the past or being anxious about the future. Um, you could have someone new coming in. And I feel like this will be your justice. I feel like this will be mutual. Some of you guys are moving on to an equal situation, a better situation. And you're using your intuition to do that. And maybe there's contracts involved with justice here. Justice can, you know, symbolize having to go to court, you know, court cases, stuff like that. It could symbolize Libra. Um, there's a lot of water energy here, so you could be dealing with a water sign. Um... An earth sign, an air sign. You could be dealing with any sign. <clears throat> hmm. Now, what is this two of cups about? The Three of Swords again. Now we have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck in the beginning. And now we have the Three of Swords coming out, clarifying Two of Cups. Okay. Yeah, someone's heartbroken over... A relationship that fell through. Maybe, yeah. A breakup, maybe. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. We have the Hierophant here. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck. This could have been a very spiritual connection, maybe. Um, definitely an emotional one. Maybe there were secrets involved. And like I was saying, I was feeling something about contracts. Maybe someone, or some of you, not all of you, maybe some of you were married to this person. Um, why is the high priestess here? Three of Pentacles, yeah, someone was using their intuition when it came to the foundation of this relationship. Um, yeah, the tower, so something came crashing down. Um, some of you guys, maybe... If there's a few of you out there trying to work on this relationship, you could just be trying to get rid of um, like you're just trying to get rid of what's no longer serving your connection, <clears throat> whether that be um, by working on yourselves, by working on any negative thought patterns or um, maybe you're just trying to work on 
just better communication or just trying to work on just working together as like a team, as a partner in this relationship, in this union. have the Emperor making an appearance um, could be dealing with an Aries or this is just someone who is an authority figure this is someone very much in their power And then you have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. So someone here is ready to take a leap of faith. Someone here is ready to move on. Maybe some, some of you are just deciding to leave this situation altogether. And you're just going to move on towards what you feel is your justice. Here's some oracle cards. Yeah, maybe someone was dealing... Someone might have been dealing with an Aries who had a lot of options. Um, or any sign. This is just, you know... This could be any sign in this Emperor energy. Okay. You guys have books. Connect to your, you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. You have supports. Your life purpose fully supports you. So your angels, your your guides, your ancestors, like they are around you, they are supporting you through this, um, through this difficult time, through this heartbreak, through this grief. A lot of you guys um, could be reading a lot in May, um, maybe to get your mind off of this situation. Maybe some of you guys are just trying to stay off of social media in the month of May. So you're deciding to just, you know, maybe read some books or some magazines or um, maybe articles that interest you on the internet. Um, or some of you guys, like I said, maybe if someone's dealing with any court cases or any legalities, you could be... Um, heading to the library, maybe you're just doing research on some laws. Um, maybe, maybe maybe someone's dealing with a person who has um, this emperor-like energy in, in the court system. Someone's dealing with an authority figure in the court system here. Um, maybe this person's helping you gather information. Maybe someone has a lawyer that's an Aries or in this type of energy. Who, you know, this is someone in their power. Yeah, you have, at the bottom of the deck, 
looking deeper deep within me is a majestic radiance someone's definitely looking deeper into a situation um maybe into a court case or just someone's doing a lot of research a lot of reading someone's really looking like deep into this situation <clears throat> Someone could be doing a lot of self-study, a lot of self-reflection. Maybe you're looking deep within yourself as well. Maybe this heartbreak has you looking deep within yourself. Um, you guys have letting go, healing the past, following your bliss. So, yeah, you guys are ready to just let go, um, make peace with the past, with this situation. And you're ready to just... You take on this full energy. You're ready to follow your bliss. Look, oh my God, the two of cups again. Three of cups. So you guys could definitely be meeting somebody new. And you're just celebrating, having a good time. I could also see maybe some of you guys... Um, maybe you and this other person are trying to heal... Um, what happened in the past together, you guys could be looking deeper together and maybe you guys could just be reconciling and getting your justice together. Um, and for others of you, maybe you're just moving on, you're doing you, you're doing what makes you happy and then you're just going to come across somebody, um, who's willing to share their cup in return. Look, because, like, this woman is holding out her cup and he's reaching for it. You know, like, this person, if you're meeting someone new, like, they are actively, you know, engaging with you. They are actively taking your offer. So...